In this opportunity, I decided to go to a wide open area to test my Joy Trainer Mini, but this time equipped with a long range setup using Ardu Pilot, a 5.8 GHz video transmitter, and a 900 MHz transmitter module. So let's see how this goes. As you can see, the wind is about 20 km per hour in the surface level, but up there it will be a lot higher. The wind is going in this direction, as you can see in this graphic, and the idea is to fly out against the wind, so when it's time to come back, I'll go with the wind a lot faster. That way, if I drain too much the battery on the way out, I'll have better chances to come back with the wind because it'll fly faster. I'll start the flight from here, and the goal is to get here, and that's a distance of 2 kilometers. That's the goal for today, let's see if I can achieve that. As I said, I'm using Ardu Pilot, and I feel much comfortable flying with this system, because in case I lost signal from the radio or something happens, the plane will come back by itself. I could do the same with INEF, but I prefer to test Ardu Pilot because I'm in love with it. I equipped the plane with this camera, the Hawkeye Firefly, and it's supposed to be able to record in HD as well. Right here you can see the recorded HD image from the camera and the transmission I'm getting to my goggles. Finally, I can get the on-screen display working from the flight controller and Ardu Pilot, and with it we can display a bunch of useful information like the battery voltage, the amps being drawn from the battery, altitude, ground speed, the mode we're using, distance from home, along with other information. Once in the air, you can see how the plane is fighting against the wind. The plane is not tuned for these conditions, and that's why we're getting a lot of isolations. And also our ground speed is very slow, because we're fighting against the wind, and up there, the wind might be about 26, 27 kilometers per hour. In this first flight, I made a mistake, and I didn't set up the power output of the module correctly, so I was flying with only 10 milliwatts of power, and I should have set it to 100 or maybe 500 milliwatts of power to get more range. And that's why at the mark of around 700 meters of distance I got a failsafe and I had to come back to fix that. On the way back you can see how the ground speed of the plane doubles and that's because we're flying in the same direction of the wind. So I change the output power of the module and I try again, this time aiming to the 2 km mark and let's see how it goes. And after a couple of minutes, I reach one kilometer of distance. And this is the farthest that I've flown with a plane like this. And I'm proud. It's a small achievement, but it's very nice. It feels really good. I didn't dare to go further than that because the battery was already drained a little bit from the first flight. And I didn't think I had enough battery to then come back and do the whole mission. So I decided to turn back with that one kilometer achievement, which feels really good for me.
It was time now to go and test this setup in another location, this time in higher mountains. The goal is to try to reach the peaks of the mountains, at least one of them, and have fun in the process. This time the wind was very quiet near the surface, but as the plane got higher and higher, I noticed that the plane was behaving a little bit weird and it was being knocked around like there was some kind of turbulence or some wind. But it's hard to say because the plane was very high up and of course the mountains are protecting this little valley from this wind that might be coming from another direction. That's why I decided not to continue to reach the peak of the mountain, but instead just fly around and it was fun enough. Also I was afraid of losing the video link, although this wasn't that far away, uh, some of the hills were like blocking my line of sight sometimes, so because of this 5.8 GHz video link is very weak compared to other kind of frequencies, I was afraid of losing signal then um, making the playing I uh, returned to home, but because of the mountains, it might crash into the mountain, so I decided just to fly around a little bit and try that in another stage. If you want me to make another video explaining all the details about the wiring and how I did the setup of this plane with Arduino plane, just let me know in the comments below. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.